Earlier here on NBA TV, you saw the Brooklyn Nets beat the Orlando Magic 97 to 77 to complete a season sweep. Brooke Lopez was six of eight, 16 points on a relatively easy night. And Brooke is with us from Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Hey, Brooke, uh, congrats on the night. This is a season sweep for you guys, and, and uh, I'm not making light of the Magic, but you guys pummeled them this season. I mean, you held them to a little over 76 points per game over the four games. What was it about the matchup this year that uh, made these games so lopsided? You know, I think um, one through five, we just came out and defended uh, those four games. You know, uh, we really trusted each other. We were there to help each other out, and we limited them, one sh limited them to one shot, got out and uh, played transition offense. You know, Brooke, we're just looking ahead at the schedule for you guys. You have some home games, but you, you got some beasts coming to town. We were talking about in this game trying to establish some rhythm, knowing that the Heat are your next opponents there. What happens to you guys sometimes in, in those quarters? Typically, the third quarter, you guys got a six to eight minute stretch where you struggled. That's something you know you can't do against Miami. How do you cure that? Yeah, you know, well, um, we, we didn't play uh, well in our last two games on the road against Memphis and Houston. And uh, we, we didn't want to come in tonight and lay an egg before uh, we played Miami and Chicago. So we really uh, tried to come out from the beginning with energy. You know, we had a little lull in the third quarter, but. Uh, we uh, picked it back up together. Our bench was especially strong for us. Darren was as strong for us. And, uh, you know, um, we closed it out. Well, Brooke, all year long, outside the little injury you had there, you missed a few games, you've pretty much been having an all-star type year. Do you feel, does your teammates feel you should probably get that nod now that Rondo's out, maybe you should be the next all-star selected? Uh, you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, there's a lot of um, deserving guys that didn't make the all-star team, in my opinion, you know. And, uh I think uh, however it goes, you know, um, our guys are more concerned with uh, taking uh, each game uh, that counts uh, one at a time, you know, and uh, coming out ready to play. 17th game tonight for the Nets under P.J. Carlissimo as your interim head coach. What would you say at this point is his, uh, his most prominent effect, I guess, or impact on this team? You know, um, when uh, we made the change, you know, uh, it was just a conscious effort, conscious effort led by PJ, you know, to really refocus and uh, and uh, get our group uh, back to trusting each other and uh, helping each other. Uh, you know, we, we really wanted to make an emphasis to be there for one another, uh, defend, you know, and um, then play out of our defense. And the end result so far, 13 and four under PJ. Continued good luck to you, and uh, I know a lot of people around the league felt like you were yours was the most glaring omission. Uh, on Eastern Conference All-Star Reserves Night. Uh, good luck uh, in perhaps filling that spot now that there is one. <laughs> Thank you.